If y equals six times the square root of x squared plus five x, calculate the derivative dy dx. So for this question, we can see that there is a function inside another function. So x squared plus five x is really inside the square root function. So we need to apply the chain rule. And from the formula sheet, we know that the chain rule is given by dy dx equals dy du times du dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u be the inner function. In this case, the inner function is the x squared plus five x that's inside the square root of x. So u is equal to x squared plus five x. So therefore, y can now be written as six times the square root of the function u. Next, we need to calculate dy du and du dx. So starting with du dx, the derivative of x squared plus five x with respect to x is simply two x plus five. And now before we calculate the derivative dy du, it's useful to write y is equal to six u to the power of a half because we know how to differentiate when we have powers of n. So that means that dy du is going to equal, and we take the pair at the front, so the half times six leaves three, and then we have u to the power of negative one half when we subtract one from the power. So now we can come back to our problem and we can think about calculating dy dx, which from the chain rule is dy du multiplied by du dx. So therefore the derivative dy dx is going to equal, and first up we have dy du. So dy du is this three u to the power of negative a half. So in a bracket, we're going to have three times u. However, we can replace u with the expression that it's equal to, which is x squared plus five x, and it will be to the power of negative one half. And then we multiply that by du dx, which is this 2x plus 5. So in the second bracket, we're going to have 2x plus 5. So that's a perfectly acceptable way of writing out the derivative. However, we can express this in a slightly different way. So we could have dy dx is equal to, and the 3 can be multiplied by the 2x plus 5 to give 3 times 2x plus five, and then we can divide that by, and the negative will place the x squared plus five x in the denominator or on the bottom of a fraction, and the half will introduce a square root sign. So we could write this as divided by the square root of x squared plus five x. So that is the derivative for this question.